Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. Today we have literally just filmed her a video that will already have been uploaded uh, and we wanted to carry it on because we wanted to do a drug Q&A. So if you haven't seen the video already, um, be sure to click the link in my bio and the link will be there. So I've now got my passion fruit martini. We were doing shots, I'm not doing any more of them. Got my chips and dip. So today, as I said, we're doing a drug Q&A. So I've asked my Instagram to ask us some questions and we're gonna go through them one by one. Matt has also asked his Instagram. Do you wanna start with yours? Tom? Name one thing you hate about the other person. You go first. No, you go first. I asked you. Okay, um... I hate, I think the thing I hate the most about Matt is he can get very moody <laughs> very quickly about nothing. Um, like he can literally switch like that and not really ever towards me, like he's never, not, he's never like nasty towards me. But sometimes, or like something that I've, it's not usually something that I've done, like it's normally like, like for example, if the computer doesn't work, like he goes crazy like, yeah, I think that's the thing because I sometimes don't know when it's coming. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, oh god, I just didn't, did not expect that. What about you? I mean, it's not an awful thing to be honest. He has the worst sense of timing on the planet, and it does my head in. So I hate being late. So I'd rather be three hours early than five minutes late. It's embarrassing. Um, if you're on time, you're late. And he be all you hot guy. I remember when we used to work together at Buzz, <coughs> we used to have to go to work for 6 a.m., which is disgusting. But uh, we would leave here, which is a 25 minute journey from Buzz, at 4 for 2. And I'd stroll into my paying client 10 minutes, 15 minutes late. I had to apologise. And at the time, I didn't drive, so, um, you know, I couldn't complain anymore with myself. You know? But it was very frustrating. Aww. So being on time and her sense of timing. Not hey, a strong that, point. That is, that is the worst thing. That is definitely the worst thing. Okay, what else have you got? Do you guys want any more pets? Um, tell them what you want. I want a dog called Zeus. What type of dog? One that woofs. No, he wants Pomeranian. He wants a little fluffy Pomeranian. And I'm so surprised because I just would never ever have thought someone like Matt would want a Pomeranian. But I'm not complaining because I do think that they're really cute. I want a fluffy little Pomeranian. Basically what I want, I'll set the scene for you. I want to be in my house and um, I, want, I, want to, I want to say to my friends, have you, have you seen my dog? And I'm thinking, no. I go, Zeus! Zeus, come here, boy! And then it'll prance around the corner because it's a fucking tiny little fit. I'll find out, I'll be class. Uh, we actually already have a cat between us. Um, I actually found her on the road. Yeah, he told her not to bring her home and she did. She, he told me not to bring her home and she was absolutely tiny. She was a tiny little kitten. Um, and I brought her home and then Matt fell in love with her straight away. I actually ended up going out that evening I came back and Matt had been in the bath with her. You sound weird. She, <laughs> That's how much he loved her. She was white and she was grey when she came to give her a bath. And She'd obviously been out on the just on the roads, sure. on the street. Bless her, she was so tiny. Which was a bad idea because when she turned up, she did smell and then when I washed her, she smelled. <laughs> but she's really cute and she's so lush. Um, but she lives at Matt's mum and dad's because my dog here at home was really scared of her. So. And she loves it there now at Matt's mum and dad, so we can't bring her back. So yeah, a little Pomeranian. Um, uh, we also talked about getting a little pygmy hedgehog, which we mentioned in the last video. Yeah, Matt um, really wants a pygmy hedgehog. Because I think they're just cute. I like a little hedgehog, do you know what I mean? Are you going to sack off Jim and be a house husband and edit Hebe's videos? If so, you've made it. Who said that? Jesse. Jesse also has a YouTube channel, so we'll link him below. Um, he's a good lad, you should go watch him. Um, that's, that's the dream, isn't it? I'll just, I'll just retire and become a house husband. Um, I don't think that will happen, but... Yeah, we'll see. Can't really sack off Jim if you've never really started, so, you know. Yeah. I think the about, answer to that is yeah. I think about risking it all, yeah. Who trains the hardest? 
you do. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, hundred percent. There is no doubt about that. Don't get me wrong. I do train hard. I think. I think I'll just use mine as like an outlet for aggression, um, whereas Hebe doesn't use it for. Because you think my that. endurance is better, don't you? Yeah, like she trains well, um, but I train angry, so you know I, I'm liable to go out and do stuff like every minute on the minute, ten burpees for forty minutes, so like, because it's an yeah, out, that was ridiculous. It's an outlet of emotion. What's the best drink to get pissed on? Either Malibu or Amaretto for me. I just find that it's I can drink more, obviously, because it's not as strong. I don't particularly like feeling too drunk. Cause I really, I'm not. I don't deal very well with a hangover. Um, but I also like a Paul Star Martini. Oh yeah. I, so I like whiskey. So I like a straight whiskey. Um, my favourite's Habiki. Don't have that up here. So like a ja uh, you know, uh, Japanese. a Japanese whiskey, which is nice. Um, I like a porn star when I get dragged out with my bird. Uh, but I actually, I'd say my go-to if I was if I was just looking at steam in is I'd probably just give shots of San Bruno. Who's the tidiest? <laughs> we have probably <laughs> neither of us. Neither of us. So we're so messy. Both of us are so messy. I think we'd happily just lie in a pile of our own filth, like Joe. No, I don't think we're <laughs> the kind of people. We're not like. I'll, I'll tell you what, actually. I think it's me, but I'm not messy on my own. So if if I was to like when I lived in Italy, my room was tidy, um, and then Hebe would turn up and it would absolutely capitulate and explode, and it would just I be reckon, an absolute mess up. I reckon that Matt is slightly messy. I don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm not messy. I am messy, but I think Matt is messier because I think he expects me to do it. What? I don't think in like a horrible way. I just think he thinks that I will tidy it. Sorry, I didn't. I, mean I, to I tidy you. the room most of the time. What did you put on that face for? Most of the time. What did you put on that face for? No, you do not. Get out of here. We're gonna argue. Where's, where's, this? where's the divorce papers? <laughs> Who stays more motivated when it comes to healthy eating? If, it's, if you're gonna ask a question about yeah, about fitness, just uh, just assume the answers are gonna be me. Because Hebe has the worst will, she has the breaking strain of a Kit Kat. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember, went last year for Dominican. Depends why I'm eating all of these and Matt's not. Them. <laughs> Last year for Dominican, we decided to diet down, which I now think was one of the stupid things ever. Because we got, I dieted down, and I, I literally was quite strict for probably the best part of like eight weeks. And I got there, drank my weight in daiquiris, and day. ate my weight in steak and chips. Um, and within two days, I no longer had any resemblance of an out. Um, he be genuinely like in that period where we were being quite strict on ourselves. I was my fitness plan every day, count our calories, and Hebe was doing the same. But well, little did I know, she was disappearing off with her mum to have chocolate, like hot chocolates with cream and like chocolate muffins and stuff like that. So she's like, me, <laughs> most of the short, me. Yeah, I definitely think I've got more willpower these days than I used to. Um, do you think I do? Do you think I'm better than I used to be? Only because you've got a follower base now. <laughs> if you yeah. didn't have a following base. <laughs> Who's better at buying gifts? It depends on whether they're supposed to stay secret or not. <laughs> uh, what, what have you bought me? Uh, when would you go get gifts? Like, so gifts? the thing is, is we're actually quite equal, I think. Yeah. Like, we quite often our birth the only issue is that our birthdays are 20 days apart so what we end up doing most of the time is booking a trip away for each other's birthday so I'll pay for Matt's holiday and Matt will pay for mine obviously over my birthday and over his the only issue is, is obviously we then have two kind of couple of days like two long weekends very close to each other um, but we're the kind of people that would rather go away somewhere for our birthdays than having something. Yeah, we don't really do gifts, do we? Like, I took you to London, then I took you to Paris. Where else? Where did we go last year? Uh, oh, we went to Vegas oh, and New York, to Vegas, didn't we? New York last year. Although, I did pay for that, but there was no point. Uh, did we go? Oh, no, I took her to Venice last year. Oh, yeah, where did I take you then? Did I not no, take we you went, anywhere? No, because we went... 
So I paid um, for Venice, but we went on my birthday. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Um, um, where else? I took him to Dublin, but he had appendicitis, had appendicitis so, yeah, so we didn't go. <laughs> Who spends more money? <laughs> um, I don't know, it's hard. It's cause... relative, I'd say. Regardless, I, uh, relatively me. Uh, no, I don't know, I've saved a lot. Uh, it's difficult now because we've saved so much looking towards buying a house. Um, but before, definitely me. But I would spend all of my money on Hebe. So why I, tend, I don't tend to spend my money on myself. I, I, don't, I don't find it easy, I don't see the point. Um, He's the kind of person that will be like, oh, I'm gonna order these shoes. And I'll be like, oh, okay. And then I'll be like, where have they arrived? And he's like, oh, I didn't do it in the end, I didn't want it. Yeah. I couldn't spend the money. I'd much rather spend money on experiences than things. So I find it difficult to buy things. However, if, I, if, if it's buying it for someone else, so for example, that Paris trip that we did, I bought her a pair of Alexander McQueen's for like 400 pound. Um, which I found easy, but if I decided to buy like a £90 pair for me, it's difficult. So uh, I used to spend a lot of money, but we, we, last year we did like six or seven holidays, so I spent it all on that. Yeah, that was um, But Hebe has more than me, so if we're talking in terms of total money, definitely Hebe. If we're talking about relative, relative. me, she's my sugar mum. Who would be most likely to get a speeding ticket? Hebe, because I've got a black box. Matt, if he's in my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't pass that long ago, so like to get me on any insurance was ridiculous. So um, I got a black box, and the insurance is even my name, it's my mum's. So I'm just a name driver. So, yeah. so me, I suppose. Maybe, because I will not speak, and people absolutely hate me in my black box yesterday. Who's more fashionable? I, I wear a black t-shirt and <laughs> some black trainers and black jeans. And I'm, 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 I, don't, I wouldn't say you're unfashionable, but you don't like you're not. Again, like, I, I, I won't spend money on clothes. Some of our friends, so. their partners, like they would spend money on clothes, but you just are reluctant to. Yeah. But I also wouldn't let him go out in something that I didn't think was nice. Wait, so you're saying I got no clobber when I go out? I've got no clobber. No. You're saying I can't kick it with the boys. Is always in. It's always in. No, not at all. It's like Matt. Listen, I'm going to start posting some casual photos on the internet right now. So I've got to let people know. No, Matt's the kind of person that wouldn't really like very. You don't very often wear a shirt or anything, do you? What is he wearing? I'm saying I should wear a shirt now. No, I'm not. Listen, I'll go put a fucking shirt on right now. Someone's on a beer. They're my glasses. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Can you take the glasses off, please? I did that because I wanted to. Because <laughs> she's old. <laughs> Who's the most likely to plan a romantic getaway? Me. I would say you. Listen, when you punch in, you, you got to do oh, these things. You're not punching. Wow. Well, I've just shown that, that with this shirt that I'm wearing, the clobber I just put on. <laughs> like. You're not you got, you got to do these kind of things, you know? Who made the first move? Mm. You, do you not see what I'm wearing? Do you not see what we're working with? I made the first move. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Matt used to call me Kino. Yeah, so I actually thought she was weird when we first went because she popped up to me and she was really keen. So naturally, I was like. He said he was really cautious. I, yeah, I was suspicious. I was like, "Who's gonna do that?" Right, we're uh, gonna clear up there. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. We really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and like this video if you enjoyed it. So subscribe. Please, please subscribe if you can. Make nine other accounts. Subscribe on those accounts as well, and then we'll be friends. Cheers to that.